Hi, my name is Jerry Sumter and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to look at a photo of a landscape and talk a little bit about why that landscape photo taken too literally as a painter can result in a lot of frustration. Uh, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of painters out there as they're beginning will believe or have heard that, I don't know where it comes from, but we've all heard it, that if we copy very carefully whatever it is that we're painting or drawing, then our work will be beautiful. But that's not really the case. Any more than um, being able to create a novel by simply enunciating certain words correctly. An accurate rendering does not necessarily make a beautiful story or picture. There are many ways that we need to change things so that we actually bring the viewer into the, the world or the setting that we want to convey. So it's our art. It's not something that we're creating as a slave to or a copyist to uh, nature or to a photo. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some of the ways that we can do that. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be creating a series of videos that uh, will touch on different points with different examples that will hopefully act as help to you as you're learning to paint. So I hope that you join me and let's get started. Okay, so really this is a lovely photo, but notice how large the sky is and the shape of the sky. It's just really too big. So we need to zoom in and we need to make this have this this image have a single theme, a single topic. And that's going to be that um, those two peaks basically, the ridge up there with the snow on it. So what we need to do is we need to zoom in and make that the star of, of our painting. Now again, this is just a mock-up of how I would think about doing a particular painting. I don't necessarily make this kind of thing, and I certainly don't mean for this to be a photo-touched image. It will be very rough, but it's more of an idea. Okay, so notice how I'm lifting up the shape of the snow because the sky, even though it's better now, it's it's cut down, It's the shape is not that interesting. So I'm bringing some of those those two um, ridges up so that the, the shape of the sky becomes more rhythmic perhaps or just more interesting, more of a dynamic shape to look at. And I'm, we can just borrow from whatever we have there in the sense of like what value the snow is, what colors we see in the snow, the same with the, the shadows. Um, and this is just going to be a, a quick edit because I want to just see if there's interest in this kind of uh, content. So that's a little bit better. So now I'm going to bring up this ridge here at the side so that it cuts right into and intersects with that smaller bluff there at the, at the side, which helps us, it keeps us from flying out the side of the painting. And um, again, this is kind of just a rough. This is not intended to be a photoshopped or advertising image. It's just for us painters to be thinking about how we want to um, design our paintings. I'll lift up this other side here. And again, the idea is just to make the shape of the sky more engaging, more rhythmic, less boring. So there are so many ways that we could edit this image, um, but these are just a couple of ways. So I'm going to take emphasis off the bottom so that the viewer doesn't feel like they're going to fall out, and the contrast doesn't lead them out of the painting, and that's pretty much the last thing I'm going to do. So very simple edit, very quick. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up down below. Leave me a comment. Also, let me know if you have some ideas for future videos. My goal is to upload a video once every week to two weeks, 
as I'm learning the video editing process. It's a very different uh, process than painting. And um, also consider subscribing if you're interested in more content like this. Until next time, happy painting.